Hello YouTube. How are we doing today? So this is part three of our best early game start series. I'm going to be picking up right where I left off from part two. In part two, we had cleared the camp. Uh, we cleared the map around Copeland's camp in the Cascades area. We did all of the uh, all the ambush camps, all of the infestation zones, and all of the uh, Nero injectors, except for this one down here, which I can't quite get to yet. I still need to upgrade. Uh, I think I need level one nitro on the bike before I can get down here and do this. So, since we have finished up... Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thanks for popping in. So, since I have finished clearing the map in Copeland's area... Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start doing story missions. Uh, that's the way I like to do it. I like to clear the map first. Ambush camps, infestation zones. Hello, first one in, yeah. Uh, ambush camps, infestation zones, and the Nero injectors. And then I start doing missions. So we're going to start doing the story missions until uh, we get the mission to go over to Tucker's camp. And then once I get that mission, I'll go over there and unlock Tucker's camp. And we'll start clearing up the map around her area. So let's go ahead. And uh, this was the last Nero injector that I got. So I'm going to head to uh, O'Leary Mountain Safe House just to move forward with that next mission. Brief recap here. In part one, I had already killed four hordes and unlocked the SMP-9 uh, and then got level one engine upgrade for the bike and level one fuel tank upgrade for the bike. Uh, and in part two, we went ahead and cleared the map around Copeland's camp. All right. Little pro tip here. Some of y'all may have already seen me do this, but a lot of people don't know it. You can actually just pull right up to the tank over here. You don't even have to get off the bike. <laughs> yeah, we kind of skipped that in the last few videos, didn't we? <laughs> uh, I do have Netflix. I was actually watching some Netflix just before I started this stream. Okay, park the bike there where I can leave camp easily here in a minute. Uh, the only thing I did between the last video and starting this one, I went ahead and went back around to all of my loot locations and picked up all of these materials. I made sure that all of my materials are full. I uh, have a good show you can watch. All right, what are we watching? Also, let me go ahead and take just a second to open this up on... Uh, YouTube, or I'm sorry, I mean to say open it up on uh, my phone so I can view the chats more easily. There we go. Okay, I've got the chat on screen now. Okay, so what's this good show you've been watching? Alright, we'll go ahead and do this mission. Give Boozer his bandages. Hey, Boozer, I, uh... Found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Oh, ah! um, hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could've oh. blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, all right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? Be you better? Fun. You're the best. Boozer bro is best bro. All right, bugged the hell out. Boozer finally got his bandages. Uh, that got me 100% toward the next level up. Got us even more trust and credits with Copeland's camp, and we made a little bit of progress on the He's My Brother storyline. So, since I just got a skill point, let's go ahead and take a moment to look at skills. Hello, Bubba! How are you, sir? Nice of you to pop in. 
So since I just got a skill point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a brief look at skills here. The very first skill that I always get is Focused Shot under Ranged. Then I always get Field Repairs under Melee. Uh, those are the two best early game skills. Uh, focus Shot lets you do a lot of tightly controlled headshots. And Field Repairs lets you repair your melee weapon with just a few pieces of scrap. Once I get those two, I start to concentrate on survival skills. Love you too, brother. Good to see you. Uh, I like to concentrate on survival skills until I get carry that weight. Once I have carry that weight, uh, then I go back and start leveling up ranged and uh, melee skills. Okay, so I've already got these guys. I need to get one of these. I'm going to go with Thief in the Night because that will improve your stealth. And stealth is critical in the early game. Uh, before you get some good gil good uh good gear and good skills and everything. Hello, hey, <laughs> got your popcorn ready? <laughs> okay, so we spent that skill point, and let's see what is our next mission. We'll go ahead and start doing missions until we uh, unlock uh, Tucker's camp. Carry that weight is best, absolutely. And I'll show you another thing about carry that weight. Uh, I mentioned a moment ago, the only thing I've done between the last video and this video, I went to all of my little hidden loot locations and made sure everything was full. I've stocked up on all of my gear. And uh, so you can see I've only got three grenades, three pipe bombs, three Molotovs, three of these, you know. Once you get carry that weight, all of those limits will double. I'll be able to carry six grenades, six pipe bombs, six Molotovs. Uh, so it's going to double everything. Hey, what's going on? Nice to see you back in. Okay, so let's head down here to this uh, next story mission. It shows that you're supposed to come at it from this direction. Uh, I actually like to approach the camp from these railroad tracks here. This is my favorite way to go in. Hey, everybody, I see the numbers ticking up. Really glad to see y'all popping in with us this evening. Appreciate each and every one of you. Glad to see y'all. Correct. It I'm, also uh, doubles the camp. materials Spider that you can carry it's even better. So not only can you carry more bombs and Molotovs, you can carry more stuff to make them Find also. Out okay, so I like to come... Uh, into this mission from this side near the logging camp here. Just follow the railroad tracks from the logging camp uh, and you'll see that red train car back there. And stop it here at about 100 meters or so. Okay, let me make sure my suppressor is in good shape. Ooh, it is not. Uh, <laughs> probably should have gone to Copeland's camp first to buy a new suppressor. Doing all the Nero checkpoints right now? Excellent. Right. So this kind of gives me a nice elevated position. I'm a little bit higher than the camp here. So I can use rocks to pull them close to me. Ideally, should be able to use rocks. Why are you not highlighting, sir? That is an attractor. Okay, crazy days gone weapon wheel. All right, give me the right stuff. There we go. Throw one rock. We'll start pulling them closer to us. But yeah, this position here, if you come in from this side, you've got the elevation on the camp. You're looking down on them, and it gives you superior range and superior visibility. Bam! That's the SMP-9. And that is one of the reasons that I go so hard, uh, try so hard to get that SMP-9. I think my favorite part about your video, in addition to good sense of humor, is the way you shoot the use of terrain. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the things I love about this game, is that it's built literally from the ground up. It's built so that you can use the terrain to your advantage. Uh, okay, let's see if I can pull this guy a little bit closer. You know, even as simple as taking on ambush camps like this, using the terrain to your advantage, or even doing the horde battles where you force the enemies to come at you at choke points and things like that. It's just brilliant. Okay, let's pull him a little bit closer. So you can actually use two rocks, one to get them within range and one to get them lined up for a shot. SCP-9 misses. Uh, what do we got here? Hang on, let me read this comment here. 
Guess we have a headshot on close range. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I love me some SMP9. Go ahead and pull this one in a little closer. I hope my suppressor holds up for this whole encounter. I really should have gone to Copeland's camp and bought a fresh suppressor. Uh, since we did a few hordes and cleared the map around Copeland's camp. Oh, he's going to run for cover. That complicates things. Uh, but since we already cleared the map around Copeland's camp and everything, uh, I've already got uh, level one trust. So I'm able to purchase suppressors from Copeland's camp now. Really, guy? You're going to do me like that? Okay. Uh, please come over here. We have punch and pie. No, not going to happen. All right. Might be time to go loud. And if it's time to go loud, yeah, we'll do it. I'll take the suppressor off this SMP9 and just bust in there and mow them all down. That tends to be a bit resource intensive, so I try not to do it that way. There we go. Nice. Got him right in the logo on his cap. <laughs> okay, can I get... Oh, I can get another one up close. All right, come on. Let's do this. Yeah, don't be shy. Come and investigate. It's just a harmless little rock. Yeah, please come over here. I'm, like, trying to kill you and stuff, man. Come on. Help a brother out. Yeah? All right. Here we go. Just a completely inconspicuous pile of bodies there. Nothing to worry about. Who's next? You're within range? I didn't figure that one was within range. Yeah, we use that first rock to pull them in a little bit closer, and then we'll use the second rock, rock to uh, line them up for the shot. Yeah, come on, we got all night. Take your time. No rush. Uh, okay, let's try this one then. I don't know what happened to the other one. I don't know where she went. Yeah, come on, buddy. Say hi to your friends. No, you don't. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to make that shot or not. Okay, we're at five of nine. We've only got four more. All right. Okay, and now let's see if I can talk her into coming a little closer. There we go. Come over here and investigate these bodies. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, six of nine. I don't see anybody else nearby, and the fog is starting to set in. Might be time to change position. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stay low. And let's see. Let me get over here on the low side of this hill. Again, it's about using the terrain to your advantage. You get on the low side of these hills and they can't see you. Uh, I think I just spotted at least two of them. Yeah, there's two right there. Okay. Are there any more bushes around here? Ah, here we go. Man, that fog is killing the visibility. Okay, there are three kind of clustered up over there. See if I can pull them one at a time. Come on. That might be close enough for a headshot. Can I get him? Let's see if we can get him. Oh, there went my suppressor. Okay, time to go loud. <laughs> I was afraid that suppressor wouldn't last. Only one more and they're injured. Sniper rifle time. Gotcha. Stay the hell off of Leary Mountain. All right. Smoke on the mountain. A little more trust and credits with Copeland's camp. We're almost to uh, trust level two already. 
little more progress on He's My Brother. Now, these camps, uh, you really got to look out. It's kind of embarrassing. I step in the bear traps all the time. Uh, but look out for these wire traps. They just make noise. That's all they yeah, do. They make noise. Right up to the cemetery and this camp, the what's interesting about this Sorry. one camp here, it's it? the only place I know of. Hello, brother. That's We're right. As as I, I even claim him as my brother. Uh, I, uh, this is the only place I know of in the early game to get two of the fire axes. Uh, the fire axe is my personal favorite early game weapon uh, because look at the damage. The damage on it is just ridiculously high. Yes, the durability is very low, but I already have the uh, field repair skill so I can just repair it whenever I need to. And there is a second one right up here. Hello. Hey, nice of you to join us. There is a second fire axe right here in this uh, rail car. So this is the only location I know of in the early game that's got two of them. Uh, because it has really low uh, durability, if you happen to break one, don't sweat it. There's two at this camp, and they do respawn. They will always be here when items respawn. Okay, now I am currently full on all of my inventory. I do not need a single thing. Oh, the bear traps are terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I step in them all the time. Um, so yeah, I am full up on everything. I don't need a single thing from any of these. I made sure to fill up before I started this video, uh, so I wouldn't have to waste much time doing a bunch of looting and stuff. We'll try to focus on just moving the story forward so we can get to Tucker's camp. All right. Glad to see you. Appreciate everybody popping in. I, I, I love this. This is so much fun. All right, so we have, oh, okay, we have an actual story mission here. Uh, right on. Okay, let's go do that. I have already unlocked this Nero checkpoint, so I'm going to go ahead and fast travel there real quick. While we're waiting for it to load, I'm going to take a sip of some tasty bourbon. Ah, good stuff. All right. I'm going to get the bike looped around for a quick escape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're fixing to do this mission instead. What's going on, Cope? A man come in. Drugged out of his mind. Shot the place up. Then he just took off. And he said his bike's got a red tank on it. And he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet. Silver. Okay. If I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man. Well, you don't always get what you want, do you, Copeland? It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. Yeah, yeah, none taken. None taken. I'll find them. Okay, so I just got that mission from Copeland to uh, do the bike chase. And since we are already at uh, 11662 trust of 1250, uh, 12500 to hit the next level of trust... I'm going to go ahead and do this mission for Copeland. I'll bet you that will put us over the limit for level 2 trust. Now, I, I'd like to point out here, because we've already killed a few hordes and we've already cleared the map around Copeland's camp, never even been to Tucker's camp, I'm already about to hit level 2 with Copeland's camp. Uh, Alright, take a look at the map. The time is 4.48, so I am going to go ahead and rest until first light. And then we will head after that mission for Copeland and see if we can hit level two trust with Cope's camp. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Hello. Hey, I see those last two comments there. I, I'm happy to see you. I apologize I don't speak the language, but I am still happy to see you. I think that's just so cool, you know. It's a global audience. That's what I love about this platform. It brings people together, you know, and that's what we need more of these days. Hey, I am doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Cowhaven. That's a cool username. That's hilarious. Go back at it. <clears throat> okay, so we have made it first light. It is now 7.04 a.m. I'm going to try to find the entrance closest to the bike. I think that's this one. 
takes us out the front. Did I? Oh, went out the wrong door. Whoops. <laughs> wrong way. Let's see. Do we want to murder everybody? I mean, we can. I'm down with that. Yeah, why not? Where's the next one? Over here? There he is. Okay. Alright. Buttholes. Wasting my time like that. Thank you, brother. I'll be by. Eh, better top off ammo while I'm here, you know. Okay, weapons locker. Sidearm, SMP9, fill up ammo, done deal. Alright, let's go. McLeod Ridge Horde will not spawn. Uh, well, let's see. McLeod Ridge. What part of the map is McLeod Ridge in? Uh, if you would, remind me uh, what region of the map that's in. That's one possibility. Oh, I guess I didn't need to rest till first light anyway. This mission makes it nighttime. Oh, yeah, this game is so nice on PS5, man. I, I played it for a long time on PS4 and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but being able to upgrade to the PS5 was nice. I uh, I also just went and bought a uh, gaming PC. Just recently got me a gaming PC. Uh, so I'll hopefully I'll be able to play it when uh, the game releases on PC on the 18th. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Uh, there's no need to sneak yet. There's nobody around. Wizard, okay, all right, so some of those hordes will not spawn until you have beat the game. Uh, in fact, oh, if I had the map pulled up right now, I could tell you which ones. There's only two of the hordes around Crater Lake that will actually spawn until you have beat the game. Uh, but there is a trick. If you will check my post on Reddit... I have posted a uh, troubleshooting guide, and in that troubleshooting guide, there is a section on making horde spawn. Uh, so just take a look at uh, my profile on Reddit and browse through my previous post. I just posted it uh, just earlier this month, so it's not that far back. Uh, you'll be able to see that troubleshooting guide and just take a look at that section on uh, hordes that won't spawn. Basically, the trick is you fast travel to another region save your game there, reload your game there, and then fast travel back to the Horde battle. And uh, usually the Horde will have respawned in that time. Uh, just from fast traveling away, or even driving. If you're on survival, you can't fast travel. So leave the area, uh, save your game, load your game, and then go back to the Horde battle. That'll normally fix it. Hello! Oh man, I love the night sky in this game. That Who's is sir? so beautiful. Who's man? Are you listening? Uh, well, okay, Nero Choppers. Chopper. All right. The chopper. What, what are you talking about? A Nero yeah. Chopper. It, it just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. Well, all this time and a Fed Chopper shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm uh, uh I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, when you go back up north from leaving Wizard Island, that is when the hordes start to populate on the map. But it is possible to kill the hordes before that. It's convenient having them populate on the map, uh, but it's not necessary. Yeah, that right there is why I like that fire axe. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the path since I'm, I'm going to have to carry... Uh, that package up to the bike. I like to clear the path first. There we go. Clear these three guys out of the way and then I can grab the package and head to the bike. You can't fight with the box in your hands. Alright, here we go. Triangle. I always want to hold down square to pick that up. I always forget it's triangle. Everything else you do in the game is hold down square. 
Okay, run to the bike. Drop this on there. Will my stamina make it? There we go. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay. I think I can get away from this one. Uh, yeah, I, ha I have heard of the show uh, Shameless. I've heard it was really good. I've just never watched it myself. <laughs> really? You gotta pull that Neo stuff? I'm just gonna mow you down then. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's go chase this helicopter. Like I actually happened. just learned something about this mission. I, I swear I'm learning new stuff almost every day about this game. Uh, I have platinum the base game, but I have not got gold in all of the uh, challenge modes yet. If you if you saw my last live stream where we did the anniversary edition and, and saw me do that one challenge mission, you already know I suck at those challenge missions. So I have been able to platinum the base game, but I have not platinum the platinum with all of the uh oh, I gotta turn the volume down now. There we go. Uh I haven't platinumed all the challenge mode. Uh but anyway on this mission I just recently learned that if you have your flashlight on, they will spot you every single time. I never thought about it because I'm always careful about turning the flashlight off anyway. But I had a friend who was complaining to me. He actually gave up playing this game. Uh, he gave up playing because every time he tried to do this mission, he would get spotted every single time. And I was like, man, I don't know. You just hide in the bushes and stay away from the soldiers. That's all you do. And uh, just recently, uh, somebody was talking about it on Reddit that, you know, if you have your flashlight on, they will spot you every single time. And I did not know that. New to the channel. Love this game. Diamond in the Rough, absolutely. And it is a slow start, but it's an excellent game. Well, cool. I'm glad you discovered the game, and I'm glad you discovered my channel. That's awesome. Glad to have you with us. Specific hordes on Highway 97. Uh, Highway 97... Oh, man, I can't think of the names of them right now. Uh, it's like I have them fixed in my head where they're at and everything, but I can't think of the names. Okay, so he's going to go that way. Let's we'll slip around here. There are four or five that are available in the Highway 97 area as soon as you get there. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Nope. Wait a minute. Let's wait till he gets clear. Right. If you're a PlayStation 5 owner and you have the... Uh, if you're a PlayStation Plus member with a PlayStation 5, it is free. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, let's see, it was at uh, Cal Haven asking me about the hordes on uh, I-97. If you would, just hit me up on Reddit with that same question. You can direct message me if you want to, I don't mind a bit. Uh, just hit me up on Reddit and I will be happy to answer that question at length later. Uh, right now, I just, I'd just i have to pull up the map on my phone to remember all the locations, which I don't mind doing that, I just can't think of it offhand right now. So yeah, just hit me up on Reddit and I'll be happy to answer that question for you. O'Brien? What? Recommend sending a follow up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. No to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal oh, cool. behavior is seeming more the story missions. All the time. Let's see. We finish the story missions without kill the ambush camps. Well, the reason you want to kill those ambush camps is to get the crafting recipes. If you finish the game without clearing those ambush camps, you are missing out on a lot of crafting recipes. Uh, like some of the best recipes in the game. That's the only way to get them is by clearing those ambush camps. And then let's see what the next question was. I played this game day it came out. Really never understood why it got so much hate. Yeah, I hear you. And in the meanwhile, I'll try to search around places where the page should be at. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That works. Not 
Uh, see, some of those I know they don't spawn until later. Uh, let me see. The Kimolt Community College is there once you have access to the college. The Kimolt Station Horde is there once you get there. I think Beaver Marsh doesn't spawn until later. Um, <laughs> Groose Gardens, I believe, is there. Um, the Lobert, Lobert Drawbridge is there. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that's a good answer. All right, I'm going to wait on this guy to turn around, and we'll get out of here. Move on to the next mission. Okay, time to go. So yeah, anybody who hasn't done this mission yet or is uncertain about it, you literally just stay to the bushes and wait for them to turn away. You can see their flashlight tells you exactly what direction they are looking and what their field of vision is. And you just stay to the bushes and stay out of their flashlight beam, basically. And make sure you don't have your flashlight turned on. I wish I had known that, because like I said, my buddy started playing it, and he just gave up. Because he, he kept doing this mission, and he kept failing. And I, I got 20 bucks as he had his flashlight on, but I didn't know about that at the time. I normally keep my flashlight on, so I, I just never thought of it. I, I normally keep my flashlight off. I normally keep mine off, so I never thought of it. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Change the pickup weapon, pickup button for weapons and everything else. Uh, triangle, yeah, triangle for like weapons that are laying on the ground and stuff. Okay, so we're 73% toward the next level up. Made a little progress on finding Nero, and we've unlocked the residue vault. I personally do not use the crossbow much. Once you get the incendiary bolts for the crossbow, I use those uh, to burn out Freaker Nest, so that's nice. But aside from the incendiary bolts, I really don't use the crossbow. I, I have heard a lot of people say this one is a lot of fun. It will make enemies fight each other, which is kind of cool, you know. That's fun stuff. Residue bolt, that's how it works. Okay, Lobert Drawbridge, any other horde that I can? I'll see. Oh, okay, all right. Well, hey, Boozer, take it easy, man. Glad to see you. Booze man, come back. Hey, I'm here. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I meant to go do that drugged out of his mind mission. I didn't even mean to come do this Nero mission. <laughs> I was going to wait and do it later. Uh, let's go back to this. Uh, yeah, let's go back to this Nero facility. Camp till first light. And then we'll go do the mission. Explosive bolts are good for hordes. I have heard that as well, but I personally found them extremely underwhelming and extremely resource intensive. Uh, the explosive bolts for the crossbow have a very small blast radius. It's, it's tiny. It does not kill that many freaks. And you've got to use dozens of them to clear the bigger hordes, uh, which costs... A fortune in gunpowder. You know, I would rather use the gunpowder for making other things. Uh, I mean, the crossbow bolts, the explosive bolts specifically, you've got to use scrap. You've got to use those stupid little sticks from the trees. You've got to use gunpowder. I found it to be very resource intensive and very underwhelming as far as its effects. Uh, I would rather just use, you know, weapons and bombs that I know they work. Now, the incendiary bolts for the crossbow, that is good stuff. That is the best way to clear out a uh, freaker nest later in the game, especially, uh, don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't been there yet, but later in the game, you'll start encountering nests that are up in the trees. And the crossbow in 
crossbow bolts, the incendiary bolts from the crossbow is absolutely the best way to deal with those. The Ipkatek, okay. What about Ipkatek? I found 15. Yes, you need 18 of those for the uh, secret Nero weapon. I also, I, just, I never use it. I, uh, I, it's just a taser, basically. And you have to get 18 pieces of Ipkatek to be able to craft the taser. And I just, I really can't be bothered with that kind of stuff. I hear it's a lot of fun. You know, it zaps the enemies, make them dance around and, and jiggle and everything. And, and that's cool and all, but I prefer to go for straight killing power. Special Ops tier SMP9. Oh, man, I heard that. That would be nice. It'd be like a mini MG45 or MG55. <laughs> okay, so this is actually what I meant to do. I was going to go for this uh, Copeland's Camp mission down here. Go ahead and max out our uh, trust with Copeland and get level 2. Want to race? Oh, no. Doesn't want to race. Okay. Okay, now, seriously, which way are you telling me to go? Huh. Careful with the Highway 97 hordes. Uh, I totally hit that tree because I was reading chat messages. That that's It's not because I suck at driving. <laughs> it's totally because I suck at driving. <laughs> oh, yeah, this isn't going to work. I'm fixing to go do a uh, bike chase mission, and my bike is smoking. I have to fix that. Is that butthole shooting at me back there, really? Man, don't y'all know I'm on a mission? I'm trying to get somewhere. Jeez. Just play a game and have a group and have to handle some. Okay. All right, man. Take it easy. We'll see you around. there. early game bike is so slow trying to combine the hordes on highway 97 every time i do that the other half always ignores <laughs> yeah it is tricky it can be really tricky to get them uh gathered up i just want to know their names who cope okay oh i'm good thank you thank you for asking how are you glad you're going to be able to stay for a minute Okay, let's go ahead and repair the bike. We're fixing to do a bike chase mission, so it needs to be in pretty good shape. I'm going to go ahead and top off the fuel. With these bike chase missions, you will almost always find a fuel can and a little bit of scrap in case you need to repair the bike and fuel it up before you start the chase. So I always thought that was nice of the devs to put that in there for us. These bike chase missions can be really annoying, but... Uh, you know, at least they give us that. I did it combined Iron Butte with Sawmill. Man, that is absolute craziness. <laughs> absolute craziness. I just can't even imagine. Now I'm going to have to do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to save my game before I start this mission. Uh, I will point out, you know, I, I have heard other people say that they got the uh, sawmill, they got the Iron Butte horde to follow them all the way to uh, the sawmill. Uh, I know one other person, I think it's uh, user dmarlo310 DMarlo on uh, Reddit, uh, said he was able to do it a while back. I've seen his video, so he's got, uh, he's got video evidence. 
All right, so on this mission, I, I was able to do the challenge mode that uh, one of the patches, you can see my, the patches on my vest here, one of these patches gives you uh, better accuracy when shooting from the bike. So I recommend getting at least a bronze in that challenge mission because the improved accuracy from the bike really, really helps with these bike chase missions, especially if you already have the SMP-9 unlocked. Oh, got. Gotcha. Do I want to know something there about the show? Uh, I will be watching it. I've been looking for something to watch, so I'll take a look at it. Maybe we'll have something to talk about next time. Okay, so we gotta try to catch this dude. A lot of times I'll put my middle finger on the trigger to accelerate. That way I can use my index finger to tap the bumper and fire. Got him. That's what that extra patch, the patch that gives you improved accuracy, and the SMP9, those two paired together, bike chase, bike chase missions are nothing. It's no trouble. And getting bronze in that challenge was fairly easy. Uh, it's not one that I really, really struggled with. Not a fan of it myself. If you want to know the truth, give drifters a bad name. And I think it's like a twenty percent increase to your range and accuracy. I'll put the video on my channel. Cool, man. Hey, uh, share it on Reddit. You little bitch. Yeah, if you get a if you get a chance to put that video up. Uh, share it on Reddit with us. Be glad to see it. Okay, so that put me at 98%. Uh, completing drugged out of his mind put us at 98% to the next level. It just put us over level 2 with Copeland's camp. So we now have level 2 trust at Cope's camp. Uh, made a little Cope. more progress on these storylines. So since we're level 2 with Cope's camp, obviously the next thing to do there is go and get some more bike upgrades. That just That has to happen. Okay. Yeah, he's alive, but I won't promise you how long he's I mean, stay that yeah, way. trust increased. Trust level two. Now he was alive when we left him tied up on the road there. I'm, you know, not sure what's going to happen 20 seconds later, but he was alive then. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I see your message about uh, that show you were talking about, uh, Shameless. Uh, I've been looking for something to watch, so I will take a look at that, and maybe we'll have something to talk about next time. How have you been? Hey, Damon. Okay, supplies. Well, I could use some sidearm ammo. I need a fresh One suppressor. Up. Ah, now I can buy primary I'll suppressors. And now I can buy special suppressors. You Got a suppressor on my that. sniper rifle. Right on. Okay, and let's go ahead right. and... Oh, does it now? Well then, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some upgrades. Gotta have some upgrades. Hey, Manny. So, what can we do to the performance? I've already got the first engine upgrade, and I've already got the first tank upgrade. Let's see what we really need. Okay, i got to have saddlebags. That's an absolute must. Got to have saddlebags. I don't think there's really much of anything else I need. I think maybe some better tires for better traction. That, that would be nice. And, oh, got to have nitro. Yeah, <laughs> got to have some nitro. And I I think that's all I'm going to spend my money on right now. I could get some slightly better exhaust. I'm going to hold off on that till I've got more money. Uh, better gas tank. Uh, probably better, yeah. Uh, let's see. What was that last question? What is your least favorite storyline? Marauders, infestations, etc. My absolute least favorite is the infestation zones. I hate the infestation zones. Um, it's... Until you get the hang of it and learn where resources are, that infestation zone is extremely resource intensive because you're using so much kerosene. Uh, but I finally learned a trick, which I'll be showing that in this video tonight, uh, and I made a video on it a while back. I, I learned the trick of using the little red gas cans to burn as many of the nest as you can. Uh, and so I, I do that. That saves you a lot of resources just by using those red gas cans. And then at Crazy Willie's, there's just a ridiculous amount of kerosene there. Uh, so now that I have learned where all the kerosene is and I've learned to use the red gas cans, it, it's not as bad. But yeah, burning out those infestation zones is my least favorite. Oh, 
and even uh, you know yeah. late game, um, you can reset the hordes, you can reset the ambush camps, and you can reset the infestation zones. I have reset the hordes and the ambush camps dozens of times, but I will not reset those infestation zones. Not happening. <laughs> okay, so we got some nitro. We got some saddlebags so we can uh, ammo up out in the field. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the, the dust in the trees out on Highway 97, absolutely. That is when I start using the crossbow with hey, the incendiary gee, bolts. Because uh, hey, it, it is kind of nice being able to shoot those nests that are up in the trees. You can just shoot those from, you know, a couple hundred yards away. That That is much easier. All right, so what other kind of trouble can we get into? Looks like it's time to head to Tucker's camp. Okay, let's go unlock Tuck's camp. Oh, wait, what time is it? 1.33 p.m.? Eh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and camp. Make it first light before we head out. Deacon St. John. Here we go. Damon, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of new people popping in. Nice to see y'all. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. So I'm tired. Is it late where you're at? It's not super late where I'm at. It's only uh, about almost 9 o'clock where I am. Ah, a little sip of some tasty bourbon. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those the incendiary bolts are incredible when it comes to having to burn out those cryer nest. Game changer. Oh, so it's almost 10 where you're at. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got to work in the morning. Tomorrow is actually my Monday. Not looking forward to that. <laughs> 9.50 and whiskey in hand. Hell yeah. I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> yeah, and I actually get up at like 0430 for work, so not looking forward to that. But, you know, it's okay. It's going to be all right. Okay, so we made it first light. Let's go ahead and hop on the bike and head to Tucker's camp. Time to get her camp unlocked. Which is funny, I've already got trust and credits with her camp because I've already been over there. Uh, we unlocked this uh, Nero checkpoint and we killed a horde up here in, in the very first video. So I've already got trust and credits with uh, Tucker's camp. Drinking some rum, heck yeah. Tasty stuff. You know, I hear that it does a body good. That, that's just what I hear, though. I want to check up on you. Uh -oh. yeah, Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're right. Oh yeah, I can tell the uh, the upgraded tires are making a difference. That's nice. I've got a lot more traction now. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Oh man, I forgot to refill my uh, ammo bag. I didn't refill my saddlebag while we were at Copeland's. Man, how did y'all let me get out of Copeland's camp without reminding me I needed to fill up my saddlebags? Eh, it'd be alright. Yeah, you better. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. I, I guess I'll let you make it this time. <laughs> Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. I get busy talking and I forget to do important stuff anyway. <laughs> That's one thing I'm still getting used to as far as doing live streams and stuff. It's It actually is kind of difficult to, you know, just kind of keep up a dialogue and remember to do stuff that you're trying to do in the game. It's crazy. Oh, 
What is Copeland right. rambling about? Oh. Like the rest of them. Come on, get off the bike, get off the bike. I know I saw a sniper scope. Yeah, okay. I cannot believe. Okay. That was pure luck right there. All right, I got my got my eyes on him. Oh man, this should have been a headshot. Some kind of crazy uh, hitbox stuff. Okay, let's get to cover. I'm not gonna make it, am I? I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I knew better. Oh, those snipers are assholes. All right, let's try that again. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, don't. Believe the lies. Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, there. yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. God, you son of a bitch. No more amateur drifters. For right. You, huh? Okay, now where's his little... Okay, there's his little buddies. Ah, yeah, come on. Wait for me. Come and get you some. What side are they coming from? Here we go. All right. Hey, new skill point. Excellent. Uh, let's see what they've got. I need to heal up a little bit. So let me see what I can get from them to heal with. That was a rag and a scrap. Yeah, do not believe the lies. And that was a sterilizer. Okay. So I can do a bandage because they had a rag and a sterilizer on them. So... I like to see what I can get from the uh, bandits that I kill and stuff, just to keep everything full. Okay, and one of the reasons I was in such a hurry to jump off the bike when I saw that sniper, if you stay on the bike, they'll shoot the bike and damage the engine, and then you've got to use scrap to top off the engine. Uh, I would honestly rather take the hit myself <laughs> rather than let my bike get tore up. <laughs> Nitro! Got my first little nitro. My first little weenie jump. On, on the bunny slope. Survivor to rescue. Okay, let's do that. You can't breathe? What do you mean you can't breathe? There's no windows on that thing. Okay, anyway. I got can't this. breathe. I got we're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Where? Where? I'll go. I'll go. Okay, so because I haven't been to Tucker's camp yet, the only option I have is Copeland's camp. But I always send them to Copeland's camp anyway because you get trust, Peaceful, uh, right. trust and credits. It's, safe there. it's easy enough to get credits. The tricky part is getting trust. So I generally send the survivors to whichever camp will give me the most trust. That's how I make my decision on that one, of where to send them. First rule of EMS. If you can yell or scream at me, you can breathe. <laughs> yeah, right? If you can complain, you can breathe. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, very few people in the moment are thinking clear-headed enough to say, I feel like I can't breathe, and that's two very different things. I feel like I can't breathe, and I cannot breathe are two very different things. Alright. Hello, Tucker's Camp, and hello, Better Guns. That drifter. It's oh, that okay. drifter. Oh, you don't have to say it like that, jeez. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? Yeah, which one? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. I've always loved that line. It's like, I'm holding you personally responsible. I don't care who actually did it. If anything happens to the bike, I'm breaking your fingers. Love it. Deacon's my favorite asshole. All right. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 
25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I think you do, actually. I know you a couple don't. of them. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? You know, as much as I hate Tucker, I've got to say the animation, the acting on her face here when she's reacting to the news about the Rippers, the animations and everything, it's, it's just incredible. We've got some of the best eye and face animations that, some of the best I've ever seen in a video game, really. What's this about, huh? I mean, sure, some do it better, of course, you know, somebody's always better at it, but, but man, that's just one of the things that blew me away about this game. The eyes look alive, almost, and that's a real accomplishment in video game cutscenes. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Oh, come on, Deke. Oh, man, I so wish they would. I so wish they would. I mean, honestly, I'm not quite done with the first one. I, I could play the first one a few more times. But it'd be nice to know there's a sequel in the works, too. Ride with me. I mean, I can't get enough days gone anyway, so... Yeah, man, how about a sequel? Come on, really. How long's it been since you found someone brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. No, I don't really want I your food. You I want your we guns and bullets. You, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? I mean, yours? not literally, it's not no. closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. All right. Well, I hope you have a good evening. And I really appreciate you stopping by. Glad to have you every time. We'll see you around. piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns fast. I don't know. 40 is a lot. we got so much to spare. I mean, it, it would be cool if there were, you know, I guess a few more hordes, a couple of bigger hordes, more late game content, but. Jesus, who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. Tomorrow, most likely not. Tomorrow's going to be my Monday, uh, so I'll be working the next few days. Uh, I will definitely be back on Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to do every Saturday. Uh, from 8 to 10 p.m. Dallas time. Uh, so that's that's about the most regular schedule I can do right now. Uh, just look for me every Saturday, 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, U.S. Dallas time. Open, I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Yeah, that's what I did. I uh, I have hard saves uh, before each of the major horde battles. Yeah, that's I love doing it that way. Uh, I'll just and that's I mean I'll be completely honest. I, that's how I got good at doing the hordes is just doing them over and over, trying different techniques, trying different weapons, uh, using the terrain in different ways. Uh, that's that's really just how I got so good at it. Just repetition, repetition, repetition. Uh, but I have hard saves before all of the major hard battles, and I've I've reset the hordes dozens of times. Said he saw someone. Young woman. I don't always go through and do every single one of them every single time. 
I just kind of focus on my favorites sometimes. But sometimes I like to come back to this early part of the game, like the Cascades and Belknap, and use like the MG55 or something and just mow down all of those early game hordes, you know. Just bust in there and ruin their day, embarrass them in front of their friends. Pay back for all those times they killed me in the early game. <laughs> just defeated Lobert Drawbridge. No plan. Unlock the MG55. Outstanding. Heck yeah. Good job. Thanks, Chrissy. Helping folks out like a true professional. Okay, so our next mission, we got to go talk to Alkai. Jump over here and see what this fool's up to. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Spray and pray. <laughs> yeah, man, right. <laughs> nice. Over by Iron Butte. Got tortured like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. Uh -oh. I mean, Drifter still flying colors around here. As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. Price on your head. On the other side. Now, why don't you just show me what you got? Because I don't have time for your bullshit. I think that'd be cool. Whatever you say, Deke. Yeah, I only played uh, Red Dead Redemption Two for just a little bit. Uh, it's it's really cool. I was enjoying the characters, but uh, I honestly found it a little bit boring. But that's mostly just because I can't stop playing Days Gone. So if I ever really get tired of Days Gone, I will probably take uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 a little more seriously. Give it a little more time to grow on me. Okay, so the biggest question for most new players in the early game. Who do I give the drugs to? Well, that's up to you. Do you like riding the bike? Or do you think the bike is crappy and want to make it better? Do you want more guns? It's entirely up to you. Tucker equals guns. Copeland equals bike. It's really that simple. And it just depends on what you're into. Myself, personally, you can't kill zombies without better guns. Got to, got to have it. Tucker every time, all the time. And plus, the, the reason I, I say this, you know, to yeah, back this idea up, I've already reached yeah. level two yeah. Yeah. with Copeland's uh, camp, and I had never even stepped foot in Tucker's. I'd already opened up trust level two with Copeland just by killing a few hordes and clearing the map in his area. I don't have to bring the drugs to him to get the first few bike upgrades, uh, so that's why I prefer to bring it over here to uh, Tucker's camp. Okay, and that just got me. I'm now up well over level one. That's 10,000 trust. Uh, so that really gets you off to a great start with whichever camp you choose to bring it to. And now we have more stuff uh, unlocked at the uh, merchant over here at Alki. Let's see. I've missed a couple of comments here. Had to put it down after traumatic event. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I, I've heard that the story for Red Dead Redemption 2 is pretty serious. Pretty heavy stuff. Uh, Tucker is the choice. Tucker has the best weapons. Absolutely. Hey, what's up, Mr. Horse? How are you tonight? Hey, what's up? It's nice to be streaming again. What are you looking for? Okay, um... Since you mentioned that, I'll bring it up. I'm going to try to stream every Saturday night, uh, U.S. Dallas time, 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, should be every Saturday night whenever possible. Okay, so I still got to get to... Okay, well, hey, thanks for stopping in, man. Enjoy the rest of the story. Uh, like I say, just hit me up on Reddit if you have any more questions or need any more help. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, so I got to get to level two with... Uh, Tucker's camp here to get the MWS, but I can purchase my sniper rifle, so I officially own the sniper rifle. This makes it so that you can purchase ammo at the uh, lockers and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And yes, it's a crappy early game sniper rifle, but still, it's a rifle with a scope on it, which is better than nothing. 
Okay, uh, I can now fill up the saddlebags here. We'll take care of that since we forgot last time. Go ahead and fill up my sidearm. Okay, all of this is full. I don't need any fresh suppressors, and I can't buy any of this stuff yet. So, all right, looks like it's getting dark. It is 5.35 p.m. I'm going to run over here to the bed and rest. And then we will start clearing the camp in Tucker's area. Now that we've got all this boring stuff out of the way, we can go kill some stuff. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. And it won't take us long to hit level two with Tucker's camp after bringing... Uh, hey, Texas is my favorite place, man. It's almost like home. <laughs> Notice the accent, huh? Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> now, how y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Okay, one more rest will make it first light. Oh, but yeah, I was uh, saying, you know, it won't take us long to get uh, Tucker's camp up to level two uh, since we brought the drugs here. Uh, and I've already killed one horde here and opened up one Nero checkpoint. Uh, that was in the first video. So, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, so, what, 7,300 of 12.5? Yeah, that's not too bad. That won't take long at all. Can I help you? Hey, what's going on? Okay, got the bike ready. It's first light. Let's go find some trouble to get into. See you around. Okay, so I always like to line up with the front gate, make a save game before you head out. Uh, that way, if you know if stuff goes crazy, as soon as you get outside the gate, you know you've got a recent save game. Let's take a look and see what kind of trouble we can get into here. There is a rhythm to this game. Whenever you get to a new area of the map, it's always ambush camps, infestation zones, Nero checkpoints, and then missions. Uh, starting with the white optional missions, the orange camp jobs, and then finally the yellow story missions. So we're going to start by clearing ambush camps. <sighs> Let's see. I already know there's one over here. We discovered that one earlier. Uh, I know from memory there is one down here. Let's, yeah, Manhand Zanny. I always thought that was funny. <laughs> and then ruined the theme. Yeah, but I mean, what else would we do? Manhand Zanny? I can't think of any other names that rhyme. <laughs> I think they could have tried a little harder. They could have found something that would rhyme. Okay, so there is an ambush camp down this way. I'm pretty sure there's one there. So we're going to head that way and see if we can find it. But yeah, I always do ambush camps, infestation zones, and then finally Nero injectors. Doing the ambush camps first will remove fog from the map. It will reveal the exact location of every single nest, and it will reveal the exact location of every single injector. And also, removing the fog from the map uh, or just clearing the ambush camps will make the area safer to travel because there will be fewer of the uh, roadside ambushes. So doing the ambush camps reduces the frequency of the roadside ambushes. Okay, and this is how you can spot the ambush camps. You just look for the smoke on the horizon. Whenever you see that smoke, you know there's an ambush camp nearby. So I'm going to approach them from a different direction. If you notice, if you come at it from this way, they have the elevation. They're looking down at this whole area... And, you know, they've got the angle on you. They've got the line of fire. There's nothing you can do about it. But if you approach it from another direction, then eh, the terrain will be a little more to our advantage. It's, it's not going to be great, but it's better this way. You know, Cope, you're not wrong, brother. Okay, save the game. Get some concealment here. I'm not sure if that wolf's going to come after me. He might actually come after me up here. 
I want to deal with the wolf before I move in on the camp. Is he coming, or is he going to go mind his own business? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not. Oh, the rippers are coming this way. Okay, I'll put the suppressor on the SMP9. We got another one here. Okay, there's got to be at least two. Okay, so I'm going to pop into photo mode and tab. Yeah, Copeland does talk too much. I'm going to pop over to uh, field of view, max out that field of view, raise up the camera, and let's look around. Okay, there's that wolf I was worried about. He decided to come and pay us a visit anyway. There's the wolf, and then there's a ripper over here. <sighs> okay. And is there anybody else? I don't really see anyone else nearby. Looks like it's just those two right now. Let's see what happens. Is the wolf coming after me? He's going to come after me. Of course he is. Kind of hoping they'd go after these uh, rippers here. Okay, since it's time to go loud, take my suppressor off. There we go. Okay. All right, stupid wolves, always messing stuff up. I could have taken that dude out quietly if not for the wolves. Frag grenades full. Well, they won't be for long. That tells me I've got a free frag grenade I can use. Okay. Did we alert the rest of the camp with all that? I certainly hope not. Well, that would be about my luck. I'll bet you do. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Okay, so you notice that the terrain is a little bit better here. We're starting off higher up, closer to their camp, instead of trying to approach from the road down there. So it's it's not great, but it's better. Okay, put the suppressor on the sniper rifle. Wow. All right, we'll move in a little bit closer, see if we can't deal with this sniper over here. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? Nice. Fine, like nice and quiet. That's how we like it. Doing runs for that son of a Med bitch kit. Mark. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and use a, I guess I'll I use a bandage. Like That's all I need. Boozer, I mean. Okay, I've got motion on the motion tracker, somebody's nearby. Oh, I don't see anybody down there. Maybe they're just around the corner here. Like I said, let's see. This old lady peeking out. Oh yeah, it's this guy around the corner. Come on. Really? Would you stand up already? Quit dancing around like an idiot. <sighs> I hate rippers. They're so stupid. That was a rock. No, that wasn't a rock. I don't know what you're talking about. Something's here. No, nothing's here. Rifters you ambushed down there, huh? Okay, so there's one right here and under me. And one walking around. You can just barely kind of see one walking around down the path down there. And one dancing around behind that fence up there. Okay. Gotcha. 
I have seen the Rippers give themselves up to the freaks. Yeah, that is that is messed up. You know, I mean, it fits with the lore because they do worship the freaks. They will not kill the freaks. I've heard, I uh, saw somebody saying just the other day that every now and then you'll see one, uh, they're basically cowards, like they're too afraid to give it up to the freaks, and they'll go ahead and try to fight them. Uh, I haven't seen that myself personally, but I had heard that happen sometimes. But yeah, it just trips me out the way the the Rippers will just kind of kneel down and put their arms up and sit there and wait for the freaks to come take them. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't think so. We're not here to feed the freaks. Didn't you see the sign on the zoo? Please don't feed the freaks. Okay, let's see if we can spot this next one. Sometimes the camera angles can get a little bit wonky and it's hard to get in there. Okay, so there's one right up there on that edge, on that ledge there. Whew, I don't know if I can get him quiet. Let's see what happens. Oh, good, he's turned around. Perfect. Gotcha. Oh, you can't hide, you son of a bitch. All right, let's see if there's any others looking this way. No, but there's one over there by that fire. All right. Looking away from me. Nice. Calm and quiet. There we go. Like a ninja. Okay, there's one turned away from me. Okay, so I'm looking at four right now. Five, actually. I don't know if y'all can see that clearly on your screen, but I've got one, two, three right here, and then two off in the background. So I don't know if it'll be possible. It may be time to go loud. I don't know if it'll be possible to take all these out quietly. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, he's turned around. That's nice. Let's get this one nice and quiet. Get this one nice and quiet. As long as he doesn't turn around at the last second. There we go. Okay. Got those two. Okay, where'd the other one go? Do you have survival vision? I do not. I don't have that unlocked yet. And honestly, I rarely use it. Um, especially, I've played on survival a couple of times. And from playing on survival, I learned to use this uh, photo mode trick more than using survival vision. Uh, survival vision is nice. I use it if there's, if like if I pop a smoke bomb and I can't see the enemies through my smoke bomb, then I will use the survival vision. Oh, time to go. No need to waste that suppressor since we're going loud anyway. Yeah, come here. Oh, ho, ho, missed my timing. Time to run. Uh, okay, I'll just mow this pool down. Yeah, had enough of your crap. Stupid ripper. All right. Okay, and where is their bunker? I think it's right over here. Yeah, right there. There we go. Okay, now I save the corpses until after I clear the bunker. The reason I do this, uh, you go down and you clear the ambush camp bunker, and that will unlock a crafting recipe. And then, after you unlock the crafting recipe, then you go up and you start uh, searching all the corpses to see if you get the necessary crafting materials for whatever your new crafting recipe is. Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it out pretty good. Okay, let's see what we got this time. More trust and credits with uh, Tucker's camp there. What did we get? The baseball bat axe. Okay, this one is actually a really good early game weapon. Not only does it look really cool, it, it is a good weapon. I still prefer the uh, fire axe because the fire axe does more damage. Let's take a look at the time. It's only 10.45 a.m., so we don't need to rest. But I will go to the weapons locker and some more ammo. Here we go. Oh yeah, I got my uh, sniper rifle there now. Got my sidearm, the SMP9. Okay, those are both topped off. And now we can go ahead and head back up. 
Uh, I'll see if I can find some healing items off of those guys. I think I used a med kit, and it looks like I need to use at least a bandage. Okay, what's he got? A sterilizer? Okay, that means I could make... Oh, I need to make another bandage anyway. I'm going to go ahead and use one, make one, and then we'll pick up the sterilizer and see what else we got. Okay, got a rag. There's that bandage I just made. Okay, oh, picked up a fresh, a full bandage right on. And I think if all I really need now is a, uh, a med kit. One of them's got a med kit. That would be great. But if they don't, that's okay. Yeah, my tractors are full. Rag is full. Yeah, I'm not going to waste a lot of time looting all these guys. All I need is one med kit, and I know plenty of places to go pick those up off the ground. Med kit, right there. Okay, we're done. That was literally everything I needed. I don't think I can make it back to the bike, though. Poor little early game Deacon doesn't have enough stamina. Poor fella. It's okay, Deacon. We're going to fix that soon. We'll have you maxed out and godlike in no time. Okay, so that was the first ambush camp in this area. Now, if you look at the map, now that we've opened up that ambush camp, it has removed some of the fog from the map, and it revealed the exact location of another Nero injector. Uh, it has actually revealed the location of two Nero injectors. Uh, it has also populated the map with some of these other uh, little points of interest. Uh, if you're trying to get the... Uh, the trophy for getting all the collectibles, uh, this helps a lot. Clearing these ambush camps will help you find these historical markers, which does count toward the collectibles trophy. Okay, let's see. We're not going to do story missions yet. We're going to keep clearing ambush camps. Playing... Horizon Zero Dawn right now. Find the level gathering, level gating annoying. I love how Days Gone has no kind of level gating grind. Yeah, right. I agree. Uh, now I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. That's another one of my favorite games. I like that you can take the tactical approach to the battles. You know, pick your pick your ground and set your traps and lead the enemies into your killing field. I love that about Horizon Zero Dawn. But yeah, the, the having to grind for XP and stuff was a little bit frustrating. Uh, let me take a look at my suppressors here. This suppressor is at 72%. This suppressor is at 87%. I am willing to bet we can go ahead and clear the next ambush camp without needing to uh, replace those suppressors. So I'm going to go ahead and head up here to the next ambush camp. Again, I know from memory that it's right here. So I'm going to head that way now. That's funny, the path wants us to drive right through this ambush camp we just cleared. Like, sure, why not? Place is clear, might as well. Oh, I cannot wait to get this bike upgraded. Hello, can't go that way. Does anybody else have trouble following the path all the time? It's like, I just can't be bothered, man. I know it's this way. I'm just going to drive this direction until I get close. Max gas tank. Oh, I know, man. <laughs> it kind of gets me in trouble, though, because once I max out the fuel tank, I start forgetting to find fuel. I got to make it safer to ride through here. I'll quit worrying about the fuel and not... I'll see the red fuel gauge down there and be like, oh crap, I'm on like 5% fuel. Whoops. Our 
Raider camp. Bunch of mean sons of okay. bitches. Aren't you? So we have now identified the location of the next yeah, camp. This week, huh? And this is just another example of using the terrain to your advantage. I'm not going to take the camp from their main entrance. I'm going to come up here and use the side entrance. I'll show you all there's a secret entrance to this ambush camp here. Uh, are you going to grant me a save game? Can I please save my game? What, is there somebody aware of me somewhere? If there's an enemy that's aware of you, you can't save your game. There we go. Quick save. Thank you. I know the game makes autosaves sometimes, but I just don't trust that. I would rather know for sure that I made a quick save at the bike. I don't trust the autosave system. Okay, so we're going to use this high side here. We're going to go up around the high side of the camp. Later in the game, once I've unlocked the BFG, uh, you know, the best sniper rifle, and if I reset... Hello, hi. Thank you for joining our stream. How are you? Uh, once I've got the BFG, I can reset these ambush camps, and I'll come over here from these bushes right here and clear almost this entire ambush camp because you can see some of the enemies just walking around, and I'll clear almost the entire camp from right here. But we can't do that yet. Just have crappy early game weapons. Okay, let me go ahead and try to take out the sniper first. Nope, that's not the weapon. That's the weapon. Okay, let's find that sniper and get him first. Gotcha. Let him get out of here alive. Bunch of rapists and murderers. Okay, before we move in, I'm going to put my suppressor back on my SMP9. Now, these little secret entrances to these ambush camps, they have a trap on the other side. There is a freak trap, and when you walk through those hanging freaks there, one of them will attack you. But there is a way to get around this. Let me show you the trick. What you want to do, make sure you have a suppressed weapon and just start popping headshots. When you hear one growl, you'll know you found the live one. Okay, I didn't hear a growl. Yeah, it's serious jump scare here. Okay, no growl. Might be the one on the end here. Just listen for the growl. No? I haven't been through here recently. Anyway, I didn't hear one of them growl, but we've already popped every single one of them with the headshot, so we know it should be safe to walk through here. Ideally. Well, safe-ish. You know, better bring some hand sanitizer at least. Okay, see? No jump scare. Just pop them in the head. It's weird that I've never heard one growl. Uh, I don't know. I've got my volume turned down a little bit. But uh, that's what you want to do. You just want to listen for that growl so you know you've killed the live one. All right, and now we can approach this camp from a much better angle. Instead of trying to come in from their main entrance down here, we're going to come in up high. Uh, so we're already up in the camp with them. I'm going to try to do stealth, but I don't know yet. May have to go loud. Usually play in the dark with headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Runners coming out of nowhere. Oh, I hate those things. Runners are my least favorite enemy in the game. I hate those things. Yeah, I thought it was just creepy to have to walk through them. <laughs> yeah, that is one hell of a good scare. <laughs> Can I get a headshot from here? I don't know. That's a bit far. Outstanding. You can't do it. You can't do that with that crappy little early game pistol. That's why I say unlock this SMP9 as early as you can. Nothing quite like it. Okay, we'll move in a little closer. Hate the militia because they soak up bullets. Yeah, all the militia guys are wearing armor. And I'll tell you, that's one thing that kind of frustrated me a little bit uh, about this game is that all those militia enemies, they've got body armor. Why can't we purchase body armor from the merchants? You know, when you get to the militia camps at the end of the game, why can't we purchase armor from those guys? They should have body armor. 
But, you know, it is what it is. It's not like you really need it, I guess. Late game, Deacon is such a badass that you don't really even need body armor. Uh, provided that you've been, uh, you know, getting uh, Nero injectors and stuff like that. The breakers of the real bullet sponges. Ah, uh, that ain't no lie. Once you get the Executioner ability, where you can melee kill the Breakers, uh, that's, that is a total game changer. Because you can actually pop those Breakers with a Smoke Bomb or a Flashbang, and it will stun them. And then you can run up and uh, stealth kill them with the Executioner skill. Uh, just run right up on them, if you stun them first with a Smoke Bomb or a Flashbang. I see this guy up here. I'd like to take him out, but he is wearing armor. He's got a helmet and he's got body armor, so I don't think there's any way to get him quiet. Corporal Deacon St. John. Oh, I know. God, I hate that so much. <laughs> it just gets so old. All right. I don't think there's anybody else nearby that we can get. I'm going to go ahead and take out this peeping Tom in this window here but I'm going to take my suppressor off so that I'm not wasting durability on the suppressor. There he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now at least I've got some decent cover, and they've got to come uphill to get to me. No. Nah. There she is. Yeah, that's right. You better hide behind that rock. Okay. Let's see what we got. Where's everybody at? Thought I heard one off to my left. Yes. Okay, here's one trying to flank me over here. Got one right outside the window there. Was there one down in front of me? No? Okay. So I know I've got one trying to flank me. Oh, really? Yeah, come on to get you some. I don't mind. Oof! Oh, shotguns. Oh. Okay. Heal up. Get this next one. Okay, headshot. One right around this rock over here. I know you're there. Where are you at? You gotta get the better cover. Tips for Iron Butte. Yeah, if you're talking about the Iron Butte Horde, absolutely. I've got a couple of good videos on my channel for that. You ought to take a look at them if you get a chance. Oh, man. Get the dude! Okay. And that's what happens when you break cover in the middle of a gunfight. Okay, but we've got a save game. All right, let's try and do it right this time. Sometimes I forget that I am playing on hard, too. All right. Sniper. Got to take the sniper out first. Yeah, I'm on hard, too. I like hard, too, because it is challenging, but it's the highest you can go and still be able to fast travel. So that's the main thing I like about... Uh, Hard to difficulty. Been stuck for a few days, so I will check them out. Yeah, you bet. Uh, yeah, uh, Chrissy, I think there's a little bit of lag. I actually saw that question pop up uh, and was already answering it. So, uh, All right, so I'm going to put my suppressor on. Pop these headshots. Okay, I heard that one growl. So we should be in the clear now. The first time I came through, I didn't hear him growl. It's one of those playing it safe kind of things, you know. <laughs> you start popping them in the head before you even walk through there. All right. Don't find me. You know, just passing through. All right. I know there's one near me. I can see it on the the music during the ambush camps and Marauder. Oh yeah. And that's one thing I love about the game is that the music is different 
when you're fighting human enemies, it's one music. Uh, and when it's uh, when you're fighting freakers and hordes, the music is different. And even the tempo, the pace of the music will tell you, you know, how close the enemies are. Uh, and, you know, so you always know if it's human enemies around you or if it's going to be freaks nearby. You always know by the music. And you can kind of tell how close you are by the tempo and pace of the music. Okay, let's do this one quiet. Calm and quiet. All right. There we go. Well, we're already off to a better start than we were last time. One down by the car, one over there by that shack. Let's see if I can get him from here. Yep. Hold still for me. There we go. Ripper music is heavier riffs, yeah. Now, how do they know I'm here already? Are you for real? Are we going to have to go loud already? I think this camp just doesn't like me. That's what it is. They just don't like me. Okay, who's next? Somebody stand still for me. That's all you gotta do. Just stand still for a second. That's all I ask. Are you gonna come stand still for me? Nice. What do you think Don't know what you're talking about. Somebody shoots back. How do you like that? Okay, who's next? Maybe I can draw somebody out with a rock. No, well, there's one over there. Let's put him right here. Yeah, come a little closer. Don't be scared. Yeah, she's just napping. That's just ketchup. We, we had an accident with some ketchup. That's all. Any more I can trick with the rock? No. Nobody close enough. Oh, there's one. Okay. Come on over here. What? I, wait a minute. I think this one's like bugged. I think there's. Ah, oh, come on. Tell me they're not stuck in the rocks or something. No, just over there, kind of freaking out. Well, okay. Hello. Thank you for stopping in. Can I... Is he... Okay, I can get him. Cool. I was afraid he might be freaking out too much to allow a stealth kill. Wouldn't that be about right? Took out almost all the hordes in Copeland's region today. I just have two left. Outstanding! That's always nice. Get a bunch of them hordes taken out and start unlocking some better weapons. Okay, what do we got? Now, was this dude in the window that ruined it for me last time? Because I went after him and then had to go loud and it ruined the whole thing. So, let's well, just give him a little present. Hey. <laughs> One down there standing still. Ah, I'll wait a sec. Let him get a little closer. I don't really want to waste any more shots from my sniper rifle right now anyway. Is it possible to clear all the hordes on the map, or will they keep on... Uh, I kind of cut off the last few words of that. Give me just a second, I'll check that on my phone. You know what? I've got more grenades, and I know where to find them. No, they're going to split up? Okay, never mind. Yep, walk into that walk into that. Where's the next one? I see one on the motion tracker here. I know I had motion on the motion tracker. I'm just not sure exactly where they're at. No, nobody nearby? Okay. So I've got motion on the motion tracker. Where are they? Okay, there's one there. And there's got to be one off to my right, also. Ah, screw it. Let's go loud. Okay, there's one. I'm out of focus. Okay, out of focus. Got to do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I hate bumping into the hordes with no gear. 
That's one of the reasons I like to go to my little hidden loot locations all the time and uh, pick up all the gear there, uh, you know, the, the grenades and bombs and Molotovs and stuff like that. Um, I like to always be prepared. I like to always have at least a couple of attractors and attractor bombs and stuff like that. Okay, there's one more. I can hear them, but I haven't seen them yet. Well, let's go find them. It's just one. Maybe this direction. Maybe inside the house somewhere. Okay, they gotta be real close. Motion tracker shows they're right on top of me. Ah, okay, she's right here around the corner of the fence here. Okay, look over the other shoulder. Men <laughs> Okay, how am I doing on, surpri on supplies? I used one God. grenade. I didn't have to heal up this time. That went a lot smoother this time. Uh, a little bit of snipey ammo. All okay, right. cool. Let's, let's go to the bunker. See if they got an underground bunker around here. Yes, yes. Let's see if they have an underground bunker over here. Hey, I see some more folks popping in. Nice of y'all to join us. Glad to see you. Okay, so here's the bunker. Now, again, I mentioned at the last ambush camp that I did, I like to leave the corpses around uh, because when you clear these ambush camps, you get new crafting recipes. So I go down and get the crafting recipe, and then I go up and start clearing the corpses to see if I get supplies that are required for that crafting recipe. Hey, this is handy. Well, let's see what we got this time. All marked up, yeah, nice. Got some XP, more trust and credits with Tucker's Camp. What do we get? Focus Cocktail. Outstanding. I actually really like the Focus Cocktails uh, because I use a lot of Focus. Can't get 100% Horde completion, always at 98%, can't figure it out. There is one Horde that is story locked. It is locked behind one of the camp jobs. You have to do the camp job for Diamond Lake. Uh, the job is called, oh, what's it called? Just Doing My Job is the name of the camp job for Diamond Lake. Once you have done that camp job, uh, another horde will start to spawn for you. So it may be that. Uh, I don't know for sure, but that's one possibility. So now that we have cleared, uh, mushrooms are literally everywhere. The best place to find them is around Cascades in wooded areas. Uh, you'll find mushrooms all over these heavily wooded areas. They're not as common over here in the desert region. Uh, in fact, I don't remember seeing any here. I'm sure there's a couple, but not very many. Okay, so now that we have cleared that ambush camp, we have removed more fog from the map, which has revealed the exact location of more of these nests. We now know the exact locations of all these nests. No need to r ride around hunting for them and waiting for Deacon to say, ooh, I smell it. Uh, we have revealed the exact location of Nero injectors. We now know exactly where several of the Nero injectors are. And uh, it has populated a few more of the uh, little historical markers for the folks hunting the uh, collectibles trophy. Yeah, I, I did like the part where you ride up to the militia area. That is a nice touch. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the bike. Let's see, what time is it? 3.40? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and camp and make it uh, first light. Go ahead and rest a couple times, make it first light. Then we're just going to head over to Tucker's camp and clear out the... Uh, we'll go to Tucker's camp, top off some of my supplies, and we'll go get the last ambush camp. I think I may actually go to Copeland's camp to resupply because there I can already purchase uh, suppressors from him. I've already got him up to level two. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Hey, welcome back.
All right, we'll double check the time. It should be first light now. Yep, 7.05 a.m. Oh, I need to make some uh, focus cocktails. Now that I can, I'm going to go ahead and craft up these focus cocktails. And this, this is what I was talking about earlier. Now that I have unlocked this recipe and I've just used five rags and five sterilizers to make these focus cocktails, now I'm going to go clear all these corpses up here. I'm going to be streaming at least long enough to do the last ambush camp here. Uh, I was planning to cut this off around 10 my time. Uh, and, uh, but it, it's going to run longer than that. I won't be able to clear the, uh, ambush camp in that amount of time. Okay. Let me take a look at the chat here. Oh, so I can get the really cool cut scene in the end. I got cope up to level three. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And then how much longer are going to be on? I'll be on eh, until I clear the next ambush camp. Uh, thanks to my poor aim. Copeland made a lot of credits off to getting right. And some upcoming games. You know, I honestly haven't decided what games I want to cover next. Uh, I just can't get enough days gone. Uh, but seriously, I recently purchased uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I purchased uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And I purchased The Last of Us 2. Uh, and I also purchased Borderlands 3, but that's more just to play, uh, just to do online multiplayer with friends. Uh, I may cover it some, uh, but that was mostly just for fun. Uh, let's see, what other games? I also got a gaming PC recently, so when Days Gone releases on PC, uh, I plan to try and cover the PC release. Borderlands, Stream 2, and <laughs> okay, <laughs> right on. Uh, yeah, yeah, we may do that, because uh, the, the group that I game with, uh, I know some of them are uh, open to the idea of being in my live stream, so I'm not, you know, I'm not against it. It's just up to them whether they want to have their voices recorded and stuff, or have their gameplay recorded. I don't really have much control over that. Uh, but yeah, if they're up for it, we'll do some. I don't mind. Let's see, how did we do... Yeah, see, I'm getting plenty of rags and sterilizer. Uh, I need one more sterilizer. That's not a big deal. I'm not going to go out of my way to try to get that. Ghost of Tsushima. I am really excited about Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, not only have I heard a lot of good things, it just looks really cool. Do you like... Oh, hey, Twitter Scott, what's up, man? Uh, do you like action-based games? By that, I mean your character choices have consequences. Uh, let me see. Well, I've lost uh, such as Until Dawn. You know, I've actually never played any of those. Um, almost finished with Ghost. It's amazing, absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, it, it really looked cool. And the characters were kind of drawing me in. Uh, I just, I kind of came back to playing Days Gone and stopped uh, my Red Dead Redemption playthrough. But yeah, I was already starting to enjoy the characters for Red Dead. I thought that was cool. Really cool uh, character interactions. All right, I need to get back to Copeland's camp, but there's too many infestation zones in the way. So I'm going to head this direction and we'll go from there. Deer crossing, you know, there was a time. Stay out of the way. Get out of the way. I absolutely know. It is so many great games and so little time, you know. And uh, I mentioned earlier that I got a gaming PC. The main reason that I got that gaming PC was so that I can start doing more professional quality videos uh, for my YouTube channel. You know, not just the live streams, but actually producing better videos. Uh, just this morning, I got some video editing software and started playing around with that. And, you know, just kind of learning how to use the software. Um... Uh, so I've been using a lot of my free time working on that, trying to learn video editing software and do the research. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. 
Uh, but anyway, that's been taking a lot of my time as well. Okay, SMP9 to the rescue. And that is what you get for messing with somebody that's carrying an SMP9. You just should not do that. It's not a good idea. All right. But now that this area is clear, I can stop and get some fuel. All right, so another one of my little favorite tricks here. All you have to do is pull up beside the gas tanks and hit the red circle, and you can fill up right there. Don't even have to get off the. Don't even have to get off the bike. GTA 5 online. I got a buddy that plays GTA 5 online a lot. I can't hardly get him off of that to play anything else. Husband is playing that next to me while I'm watching this. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey, I've got... I'm so used to dodging this bridge here. I've got nitro. We can jump the bridge now. Just got my level 1 nitro a little while ago. Uh, let's see. What is that? How can you don't use triangle to choose your weapon? I noticed a lot of... I, um... I do sometimes if I need to... Like, let's say I'm low on ammo. I will tap triangle real quick just to swap weapons. Because it's always faster to swap weapons than it is to reload. Uh, especially early game when you don't have the reload speed skill. Uh, so you'll see me do that if it's like an emergency and I need to swap weapons in a hurry. I'll tap triangle for that. Otherwise, I'll just use the weapon wheel. It's kind of a muscle memory thing. You know, I, I think swap weapons, I pull up the, the weapon wheel without even thinking consciously, really. Oh, no. My bourbon glass has run dry. Oh, I simply cannot allow that. Okay, here we go. Open the gate. He's been around before. Tegan, how you been? Hey, All right. Nothing. Need fuel? Bike's probably Top off thirsty. the bike. I'll refuel you. Nice and good. Good old Thank bourbon. You, yeah, what a tragedy. Hey, Damon. How's life? Okay. Need a little bit of ammo. Is that all you need? And I can purchase suppressors from Copeland's up. camp now. There we go. Fix that gun up for you. Nice Did I need anything else? I can't buy right. grenades yet. Okay. All right, sweet. Now we can Thanks. head back over to Tucker's. Uh, we can't drive through there, can we? Can't fast travel. Okay, well, fine. We'll just go after the next ambush camp. We'll go ahead and make it first light. No, no, no. No, we're not. We're going to go up here, make it first light, and then we'll go after the last ambush camp. Well, you can jump the bridge in the beginning, and then I fell. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you got to have that uh, level one nitro. That's the same. Oh, I didn't think about it. You know, I'm glad y'all mentioned that, because now I can get to this other Nero injector. I should probably go do that, huh? And we just left Copeland's camp. I was just literally a mile or two from there. Now that I've got the uh, nitro, I can do this jump to get to the uh, final neuro injector in uh, Cascades. Oh, it wants me to go through the camp the other way. Well, we can do that. Hey, open it up. He's okay. Majorly failed so many of those neuro jumps because I didn't realize you need the nitro. Yeah, <laughs> right. Some of them you can do, like, maybe you don't meet all the requirements. If you get lucky, you can make it anyway. Listening to music and gathering collectibles while you while you watch TV and stream, or watch the stream and cook. Nice. Well, speaking of nitro jumps. Oh, oh goodness. Get off the bike. Trying to get to cover. Okay. All right, I actually managed to survive that one. All right. You got any more buddies with him? Let's take a look. See if there's any more that are on foot coming after me. No? Okay, cool. We'll go after the sniper next. Now, I don't want to waste my suppressor, so I'm going to take that suppressor off since they're already aware of us. We're not in stealth right now. 
Where are they? I'm right there. Gotcha. And there is... Oh, now it's a wolf. Nice. No, Mr. Wolf. I bet that's another wolf. Okay, we're going to try to heal up. Dodge. Alright. And I bet almost anything there's a third wolf. No? Just the two of them? Oh, I hear him. There he is. Where's he at? Yeah, come and get you some. That's what I thought. Boom. Okay, now i got to remember, it keeps messing me up. I like to look over the right shoulder. Uh, the game is going well, uh, for the most part. <clears throat> I only died once, so that's pretty good, right? <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I managed to survive this ambush right here and got off the bike before the sniper hit me, so that was kind of cool. Nitro didn't really help me. My brain decided not to use it <laughs> until the until it's too late. Huh? <laughs> okay, I can see the Nero chopper up there, so I know we're close. You just gotta find the right path. I think this is the path right here. So I'm gonna get circled around, get lined up for the jump. Sometimes if you drift a bit first, it'll increase your starting speed. Nice. Okay, let's go and grab this next uh, injector here. Now, where am I at on the injectors? Okay, so you can see down at the bottom there where it says endurance and then health and stamina and focus. That shows you your injectors. So, uh... My focus is ahead, so I'm going to get stamina next. We'll do stamina. Let me take a look at these chats here. Super speed right into a wall. <laughs> Have you done the Little Bear Creek horde? Not yet. That horde does not spawn until after you get to uh, Iron Mike's camp in the Lost Lake region. So I'm not quite that far along in the story yet. That horde hasn't started spawning for me yet. Okay, we're doing stamina. Stamina, stamina. Yay. Is that what this shit is? Gotta have more stamina. Okay, and then there's usually some scrap, some Ipcatech if you're into that sort of thing. Ooh, and a med kit, that's nice. Uh, well, usually there's some scrap and a uh, fuel can. Ah, here we go. There's the scrap. Cannot get the burnout apocalypse trophy. You know, I, I think you may have mentioned that earlier, or somebody asked me just recently uh, how to get that trophy, and I'm, I'm not trying to be funny or sarcastic. I'm really not. For me, it wasn't difficult at all. It, I don't remember it being a problem. Everybody's always like, oh my god, that's the hardest trophy. And like, I honestly don't even remember getting it. It was just, oh, okay, no, well, that's done. You know, uh, it's, it's pretty much as simple as start a drift, just drift in a big circle. You see, I might even be able to do it here. You just want to drift in a big circle and nitro at the same time. And that's literally all you've got to do is just drift and nitro at the same time. Let me get out of this little tight spot here and I'll see if I can at least demonstrate the technique. Okay, so I guess it does help to be in kind of a, a flat area. And you just start a drift. You've, he's got to have his foot on the ground and actually be drifting. And then you just kind of roll your thumb over to the nitro where you're pushing red circle and X at the same time. And that's it. So you just keep drifting in a circle with his foot on the ground and then roll your thumb over to the X and do it and hold the X down. Nothing to it. Uh, that's how I did it, at least. Now, you do have to have uh, the upgraded Nitro, of course. I believe you've got to have the maxed out Nitro, uh, or you can't do the, uh, the full five seconds that's required for the achievement. But it's really not that hard. Yeah, you did the burnout trophy in the snow. That does sound like that would help. But I've even heard people say, you know, you got to have this certain type of engine on the bike and you got to have these certain tires and all that. It's not, you don't actually have to have any of that. You just have to have the upgraded nitro. You got to have maxed out nitro. 
So when I was riding, I got distracted and rode off pretty steep canyon and got sniped by a sniper. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, those snipers are assholes. Um, I must be drifting wrong or my nitro isn't high enough. Yeah, if you don't have the nitro maxed out, then you can't do it yet. Uh, I believe, and you know, I'm not certain. Uh, so like I said, I really didn't even notice when I got it. I was like, oh, that's done. Cool. Uh, but I do seem to recall that you've got to have the maxed out nitro in order to get the five seconds of burn time. Okay, so we're here. What time is it? Almost 4 p.m. We'll go ahead and rest and make it first light, and we'll go take yes. out this next ambush ground. All right. Now let's see what they Where got there. Where's the bed here? Here we go. I'm just going to grab some shot eye. Have you done any videos on Wizard Island or uh, Highway 97 loot locations? You know what's weird? Uh, yeah, I looked at the Reddit and the advice given there was super complicated. So yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, okay, so the loot locations around Highway 97 and Crater Lake, I only know of one spot in that whole two regions of the map. There's one spot where you can pick up a proximity mine, and that's it. Uh, so I, I recently did a video. I'm working on it right now. I haven't completed it. Uh, it's all of the loot locations that I know, plus the locations to find the uh, superior metal axe, which is one that can only be found in the late game. Uh, so that's that's the only loot I know of for I-97 in Crater Lake, is that one spot with the proximity mine and uh, the locations where you get the superior metal axe. Uh, but I am working on a video for those right now. I've already I've, I've already made the videos on the PlayStation, and I just need to get the files put into my video editor and get them all worked up into one video. So that's in the works. I, I just got my PC like just the other day, and I'm getting it set up and everything. So I hope to be able to start turning out some better videos soon, some higher quality videos. Okay, so we have this ambush camp right up here. Oh, there's a survivor rescue. Out here, there ain't nothing but murders. And what the hell? Someone's trapped. Boom. Ooh, a double rescue. Nice. Help! Help! You! 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 Okay. I got this. Hang on. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Yeah, sh camp. What camp? Show me where. Okay, so I always send them to Copeland's camp uh, because you get trust. You notice with Hot Springs, all you get is credits. But with Copeland's camp, you'll get trust. And that's the more important. Uh, so I always make my decision to send these guys to a camp based off of wherever I get the most trust. So it's going to be Copeland's Peaceful this time. And let me see. We got uh, That's the problem with some advice post on Reddit. They're text-based and... I need visual help, yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm glad. That, that's the main reason I do those, uh, you know, how-to videos. It, it's just easier to learn that way sometimes. Worst part of these is when it's glitched out. You can't actually rescue them, I know, right? And a quad rescue. Yeah, and Lost Lake is the only place I've ever seen that quadruple rescue. And those are nice because those will net you 4,000 trust with uh, Iron Mike's camp, which that's just phenomenal. That's really a big help. Uh, let's see, there's something else I was going to say. Uh, oh, yeah, with, with these rescues, if one of them bugs out, you can actually just load a recent save game, um, and it will it will populate another one on the map somewhere nearby. Because I guess it's like a timed thing, uh, you know, where after a certain period of time, another rescue mission pops up. You know, something like that. You have a chance to get another rescue mission so if you miss out on one of them, just load a recent save game, and uh, then you'll be able to do another one soon after. Uh, always makes me laugh when Deacon finds somebody in trouble and he talks to himself like, <laughs> they might think you're insane, yeah. Okay, so this next ambush camp, this one is kind of tripped out. This one has a horde in under... You've got to be kidding me. Really, guys? Okay, all right, well, let's do this then. 
wolves. God, I hate these wolves. Get off of me, man. <sighs> okay, you know what? Not even playing with y'all. How about a smoke bomb? Check this out. If you've never seen this before, smoke bombs make the wolves vomit. Makes them a lot easier to kill, too, while they're sitting there throwing up. Yeah, how do you like that? Stupid wolves. All right. Go ahead and heal up. So there's your pro tip for today. Wolves hate smoke bombs. <laughs> and just kill them. <laughs> kill them to get some health and some loot. I hear you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and top off my sidearm ammo. Uh, and now we're going to move in and do this ambush camp. Now, this ambush camp is one of the weird ones that has a horde in under it. It's a very small horde. It's not one of the official hordes, so they will actually continue respawning periodically. Gotta kill them all. I am currently on... Uh, 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 no, I'm sorry. I was going to say survival. That's not correct. I'm on hard two. Uh, hard two is my favorite difficulty because it's still it's very challenging, but you still have the option to fast travel. Uh, hard two is the highest you can go and still have the option to fast travel. You know, I don't even bother getting the meat from the wolves. I don't even bother because uh, it's only worth a few points. So yeah, I don't even mess with it. Now, once you get that skill that doubles the amount of meat that you get or increases the amount of meat, it becomes more practical because, you know, one wolf will give you three to five meat. So it, it does become more valuable then, but I don't even mess with it. I get most of my trust and credits from clearing map activities and killing hordes. Okay, so this horde under this camp, I'm going to show you all where I'm at. This is in Belknap region. Uh, it's just east of Tucker's camp, and it's this ambush camp right here. Uh, down here in this little trench here, they have uh, a horde down here. So what I like to do, I, I always keep attractors and attractor bombs and stuff uh, that I get from those hidden loot locations. Uh, no, you're not late. We'll be on for a little while. So I'm going to put a... Actually, is the horde even in there? I don't hear them growling. Be just about right they don't pop this time. I can't tell if they're in there or not. And I don't hear them. So I'm going to go ahead and put an attractor there anyway, just in case. Let's just see what happens. Put an attractor right outside the cave. Get a grenade ready. Yeah, here we go. They were in there. Okay. I'll move back a little bit. So you get them out of the cave with that attractor, and generally one grenade will be enough. Sweet. Okay. Now, sometimes that'll get the attention of the folks in the camp. You know, I've had trouble with this horde trying to lead them into the camp. Half the time when I do it, they just bug out and won't even attack the raiders up there in the camp. I was going to say the one time you don't use an attractor. That, oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me peek around this corner and see if they're there, and then you get swarmed. <laughs> of course. But, yeah, I've had trouble using this horde on this camp. Uh, running the hordes through the ambush camps is one of my favorite things to do. But it just seems to bug out at this camp a lot. And they'll get up there and just be walking around and not killing the raiders and... This pisses me off. It's like, uh, could you uh, go ahead and kill those raiders for me, please? Down here. Oh, shoot, one followed me down. Okay. Where's he at? There he is. Bunch of murdering sons of bitches. Yeah. Like to set up ambushes. Don't follow me, you creep. Okay, now we can go ahead and move into the camp. Okay, and you got to stay low here. 
if you peek up over this little ridge here, uh, a lot of times they'll spot you. So you got to stay low when you come past that spot right there. All right, let's get some concealment here. Keep a lookout for those bear traps there. Don't want to step in those. First time I attacked this camp, the horde swarmed me from behind when I was having a firefight. Oh, yeah, they love doing that, don't they? Okay, so I see one crouch down over there. One crouch down by that tent right there. Anybody else nearby? I don't see any others nearby. Hey, Drifter, come on out! Stop this... It was a boring conversation anyway. Okay, so there's a heavy moving around right over there. Not going to mess with him. I'm going to go this way instead. Okay, and watch these bear traps. They're scattered all over the place. You can use these yourself. Hold down square and then hold down left trigger and tap right trigger. And that will place them. And now it won't harm you. It will harm them if they step in them. Oh, here's one standing still for me. Dummy. Okay, let me take a look at the comments here. What do we got? Snagged bear trap couldn't break it out in time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, I got one moving around kind of far off up there. See if I can get in here without getting spotted. Maybe I can get a headshot from here. Nice. And I love that SMP9. Okay, there's another one just hanging out right there. Oh, no, now there's two of them. Yeah, I don't want to get their attention just yet. Okay, let's take a look around, see what we got. No, not tilt, field of view. That's the one, okay. So I can see a sniper standing over there on the edge. I don't see anybody else nearby. wonder if we can sneak up on that sniper over there. Calm and quiet. Gotcha. Oh man, I interrupted a cigarette break. Now that's just rude. Smoking's bad for you, dude. That'll kill you. Just trying to save you some time. Okay, now things might get interesting. I don't know if there's any way to push forward without going loud. here. Nice. Yeah, we should have at least let him finish the cigarette, huh? <laughs> oh, well. I saw something. Okay, so we have, what, two left? See if we can find them. No. There we go. Okay, I see one walking around back there. I think that's the heavy. Where's the other one at? I don't see the other one yet. There's our heavy. Oh, there's the other one over there by that tree near the bonfire, I think. Yeah, smoking kills. Snaps neck. See, I told you that would kill you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
I wonder if you can stealth kill the light heavies like that. What the hell? Let's go find out. Sure can. Nice. Okay, one left. And then there's this one over here, just hanging out. That's the gotcha. One. Okay, so that uh, camp is clear now. Your days of setting ambushes around here are over. All righty then. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop this uh, gate here so we can get through more easily next time. Pat Jens Lake Horde. Yeah, man. Let's see. First Horde I fought, and since I only had an MWS and the stubby, had to go back to Tucker's and refill ammo. Yep. Yeah, that Pat Jens Lake Horde, that is actually a really big horde for so early in the game. Uh, they are dug in. They're dug deep off, way off in the back of that cave, that, yeah. so it's hard to yeah. dig them out. And it is a large horde. I gotta say, it's probably one of my least favorite hordes in this area. Uh, just because it, it is fairly challenging. It's not easy to dig them out of that cave. Okay. Let's see what recipe we get this time. What do they got here? A map. Ooh, got a level up. Nice. Even more trust and credits with Hot Springs Camp. And what did we get this time? Uh, this one, the, the crappy baseball bat uh, club. Got yeah, I never used that. Uh, that one's worthless. Uh, okay, can someone remind me where Pat Jens is? Actually, I can show you where Pat Jens is. If you're at Tucker's Camp, there's this lake up here. This is Pat Jens Lake. And where this... Uh, Nero injector is is off inside this cave, so you actually approach the Pat Jens Lake from this little land bridge here, and the entrance to the cave is right here, and that's where Pat Jens Lake Ward is at. Uh, okay, so I'm glad we're looking at the map now anyway, because we just cleared the third and final ambush camp for this region. And you can see that clearing those ambush camps has removed all of the fog from the map. It has revealed the exact location of every single nest. All of these nests now, we know exactly where they're at. And it has also revealed the location of all of these Nero injectors. So that is why it's so important to come through and remove the ambush camps first. Because it clears the fog off of the map. It reveals the location of the infestation zones. And it reveals the locations of all the Nero injectors. So what we're going to do in the next video... Uh, we're going to go after the uh, all of the nest in the infestation zones. We'll clear all of those out. We'll get all of our injectors. And then we'll be done clearing the map around the Belknap region. And we'll be ready to start pushing forward with missions. Uh, that is actually the last thing I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to be sure I got all the ambush camps taken care of and got the fog removed from the map. So that now in the next section we can go and start clearing the other map activities. So that is going to be it for tonight. Let me see if I missed any comments. Uh, okay, yeah, Mount Bailey Horde. That is another really tough one. Oh, I hate that one. Uh, there's no good terrain around there either. Uh, the next time I will be going live will be Saturday. Uh, this next weekend, I'm trying to do it every Saturday. And uh, it'll be from 8 to 10 p.m. U.S. Dallas time. Uh, does the game tell you how important ambush camps are? No, it does not, actually. Uh, you also get crafting recipes. Every ambush camp you clear gives you a crafting recipe, and then it removes the fog from the map and shows you the exact location of other important features around the map. So yeah, got to do ambush camps. All right, folks, uh, thanks again so much. Uh, I've had so much fun of uh, y'all just popping in, hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope everybody has a good night, and I will see y'all next Saturday, 8 to 10 p.m. U.S. Dallas time. Good night, folks.